Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Haybike City Run, a new electric bike designed for urban commuting. Let's check it out. A commuter e-bike isn't exactly the fanciest form of e-bike on the market, and yet there are still plenty of companies that charge an arm and a leg for basic versions of a city e-bike. The Haybike City Run here undercuts just about everyone though with a price of 1299 bucks. Yet this is not some cheapo e-bike. Sure, you may not have heard of Haybike. I barely heard of them until about a year and a half ago, which is not very long in e-bike time. They're a young company and so they can't charge a premium, but for under 1300 bucks, you're getting some pretty nice stuff here. We've got hydraulic disc brakes on 180 mm rotors, which is surprising because e-bikes at this price normally don't have hydraulic brakes. They generally stick with mechanical disc brakes. We've also got a hydraulic suspension fork, which again, not normally seen on e-bikes in this price level. Normally you get a cheap spring fork. We get our complete commuter trifecta I always love to see, which includes a rear rack, fenders, and LED lights, all part of a standard equipment package, not something you have to pay extra for. But the City Run even goes a bit farther by including an auto on feature in the lights and even turn signals in the tail light, though I think it's a bit gimmicky to have turn signals on a bike still, so I would recommend sticking to hand signals or just using both. Now there is a suspension seat post on mine here, but you won't find that on the retail version, though you can always add it as an aftermarket accessory. Still though, it's a fairly comfy ride with a nice and tall seating posture that keeps you upright with a good view of the road. And when you're flying down the road at 20 miles an hour or 32 kilometers per hour, a good view and proper awareness are pretty important. With that 20 mile per hour top speed and the ability to ride without pedaling thanks to a throttle, this is a class 2 e-bike. I would have liked to see some higher speed, but then again, I keep coming back to the $1,299 price tag, which makes me say, all right, I can deal with the 20 mile per hour top speed at this price. Especially when you consider the other extra mile they went, which is with the fairly large battery of 48 volt and 15 amp hour for 720 watt hours. That's larger than an average e-bike battery, and if you use pedal assist to also put some of your own pedaling power into the bike, then you might end up seeing ranges as high as 55 miles or 88 kilometers per charge. For me, I still like to use the throttle a lot, and so I was getting closer to 30 miles of real world range, but I think that's pretty darn respectable, and I just don't normally need to go further than 30 miles in the city. Now the bike is a bit heavy at 62 pounds or 28 kilos, which surprised me a bit at first, because, well, it's a city bike and it just doesn't need to be that heavy. But I guess when you add heavier parts like the hydraulic fork, hydraulic brakes, the commuter accessories, and everything else, that weight adds up. Can I fault the bike for it? Yeah, sure, why not? It's my review. So it's heavy, and it's not a particularly fancy bike. Now you do get a smartphone app, which is kind of nice in theory, though I don't normally feel like I need to bring an app into my riding, unless you're going to give me something really cool like GPS tracking that warrants it. But still, my few complaints aside, this is a surprisingly good collection of parts in a comfortable bike for a more than comfortable price. Haybike is one of those companies that I can't really speak to their service or support yet since they just haven't been around as long as more established companies that have built up a reputation. But if an attractive entry price is enough to woo you, and if you never need to find out how good their customer service is, then this sure seems like a hell of a deal to me. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Haybike City Run. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.